Hey friends, welcome back to our channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Angie and I enjoy sharing different projects we have going on around our home. In today's video, I'm going to take you along with me as I go shopping for flowers, plant flowers, clean, and show our patio space a little bit of TLC and make it a little bit more inviting for our little family. I would love for you to stick around with us and see the transformation of this space and it should be a fun video with lots of tips and tricks and ideas for your space. So without further ado, let's get started on this space. Welcome to our patio space. I love this space in our backyard. It is just very calming and it's just a nice place to sit and relax in the morning. It's a little bit too warm to be out there in the middle of the day, but in the morning it's a nice place to sit and just listen to the birds, and enjoy the outdoors. This video was taken in the spring, and this is when our jasmine was in full bloom, and I wish you could smell this jasmine. It just makes the backyard smell wonderful, and I just love it out here, and then when it's not in bloom, though, it's evergreen, so it's very pretty climbing up this pergola. And then this hydrangea, I planted this about two years ago in this container, and it was just a tiny plant that I found in the clearance section, and it loves it out here. And every time I see it out here blooming, it just makes me smile. You know how much I love hydrangeas, and I had to have one out here on the patio, so I just let it do its thing in this container. This area doesn't need a whole lot of work. It just needs to be cleaned, have all the leaves removed and the dirt, and just change the seating configuration so that it will be a little bit more inviting and a little bit more accommodating for our family and guests. I will be doing a little bit of pressure washing. It doesn't need a whole lot, but it does need a little bit of cleaning. And to share a tip with you that I just learned, if you have mums in containers that are blooming right now and you want to have blooms in the fall, go ahead and cut them back before July 4th so that they will bloom again in the fall. I took this video footage in the spring and you can see that the mom is blooming beautiful orange blooms and I don't know about you but I always thought that a mom was an annual and I would buy them for the fall season put them on my porch and then afterwards I would just throw them away and then my mother-in-law said if you plant them in your yard or in a container they will continue to bloom every year and so I put it in this container and this mom has bloomed three times already and it's getting ready to bloom again so i'm gonna leave it be for this video so that it will be nice for the footage and it'll make my flowers look full but then after the video i'm going to cut it back and that way it will bloom again for the fall and i'll have these bright orange flowers for the fall season so i'm excited about that and i'm just cutting these back so that I can add more flowers to this container. I filled it up with annuals and then they're all done. So I'm gonna go to the garden center and see if I can find more plants to put in this container for the summer and then I'll replant it for the fall. Another great tip that I can share with you if you are planning a space on a budget, I found these flower pots at Walmart last year and sadly they don't carry them anymore. But they were $28 and they are really big flower pots that I wanted for this space, but they were not the right color. So I went ahead and got them and I just got a can of black spray paint and spray painted them. They are holding up great and they look perfect out here on the patio. So always look at the shape of something instead of the color because the color can always be changed to make something work in the space that you are planning. One of my favorite things to do when I'm decorating an outdoor space is to go to my garden center and see what plants are available to me. I love to check the clearance section first because they usually have a nice variety of plants to choose from at a really good price and most of the time all they need is some water. And on this day they had select plants three for $12, which I love that price. And so I picked up a few annuals and I got a few perennials to plant in my planters. And I usually stick with the green and white theme. I love that. I think it's so classic. But I did grab some color this time for the patio. 
And so I'm excited to get them home and get them planted in these planters. An easy way for me to pick out flowers for my containers is I always pick a thriller, a filler, and a spiller. So with your thriller, you want something upright that just kind of catches your attention. And then a spiller is something that goes over the side of your container. And then a filler is what fills in all the blank spaces. So I grabbed two white geraniums. I think they just have a classic look and I just about always go with a white geranium in my containers. I also picked up some alyssum. This will grow over the side. And I did add some color this time with a wave petunia. I got two of those because I'm doing the same exact thing in each container. And then I always get bacopa because I love the little white flowers that trail over the side. And then this is a new one for me. This is Gora. I think it is so pretty and it just caught my eye in the garden center because it's so whimsical and the way that it moves in the wind was so beautiful and it also attracts pollinators which I love that and I thought that it would really be a nice focal point on this patio. So I'm leaving the mum in here and then I'm just going to plant these flowers in here and the thriller is going to go in the back. So this Gora, it stands up really tall and it's supposed to get really wide and so I want it to be in the back of the container so it will just kind of frame all of my flowers that I add to this container. Next, I'll add the bacopa on the side of the planter so that it can just trail out of the side of it. I have this planted on my deck and it just fills out and it's got these little white flowers and I think that it is so beautiful. And then on this side, I will add the white geranium and the petunia just to fill in the space a little bit. And the petunia is going to add a little bit of color to this container. And I think it's going to be so pretty with the purplish blue with the mums when they bloom. And I'm just really excited about getting these flowers in this container. And I'll just do the same exact thing in the other container so that it is a symmetrical look and just carry on that whimsical look with a little bit of color and always that green and white classic look. I also added some Creeping Jenny for that pop of lime green. The first thing I wanted to do to this space is to pressure wash it and so I cleaned the patio furniture off and now I'm going to use this pressure washer just to give it a good cleaning. My husband usually does this part, but I've been wanting to learn how to use this pressure washer. So he taught me how to do it and I can say that it's pretty easy to use. This pressure washer, we've had it for about four years and it just does a great job. And I was usually intimidated by it, but when I used it myself and found out how easy it was, it is probably my favorite tool to use because it gets everything sparkling clean and it's just so rewarding to clean your space with this pressure washer. So I'll probably be pressure washing everything now because I love it so much. Now that everything's clean and dry, I'm going to lay down this rug. I found this rug and I absolutely loved it and I knew that I had to design my patio space around this rug. I love the black and the plaid and I think that it is just a beautiful rug for this space. I have wanted to add more furniture to this patio space, so when Joyvee reached out to partner with us on the patio refresh, I checked out their website and I was so impressed with their selection of outdoor furniture. We chose the wicker sofa set, which is a couch, two chairs, and a coffee table. And I was so impressed with this set. It is made of P.E. Wicker. And if you've done any research on P.E. Wicker, it is pretty impressive material. It is fade resistant and it has waterproof qualities. And we leave our patio furniture out all of the time and it gets really hot here in the summer. 
And that gives me peace of mind knowing that this set is made of a durable wicker and it's going to last over time. Another thing that I really like about this set are the cushions and I love to be able to remove the cushions and wash them and keep them in great shape. And these have a zipper. You can just unzip it, remove the cover and wash it and keep your set looking great all year long. I love the shape of the coffee table and the size of it. And another thing that I love about the coffee table is the tempered glass. So this coffee table is perfect for a family with small children or for anybody that just wants to ensure a safe environment for their family or guest. We love the look of this patio set in our space and we are so impressed with the durability of the furniture. My husband put the set together for us and he said it wasn't that bad. It had everything included that you need to put it together and everything just went together pretty well. But check out their website and look at all of the beautiful furniture that they have to offer. And Joyvy has also offered our YouTube family a 10% off discount. And this is for just a limited time. So be sure to check the link below and shop their website, check out all of their outdoor furniture that they have to offer. And I know that you'll love Joyvy's furniture in your space just as much as we do. And this discount is for anything on Joyvy's website that would fit your space. And they have so many things to offer. So be sure to check out the website and use the code in the description box below to get some beautiful and durable furniture for your space. I love having a designated seating area for our family. This is going to be so nice for us to just come out and enjoy each other's company. Now I'm going to decorate the swing. We hung the swing here right after we moved into this house. And I'm just adding this cushion just to soften it up and make it look a little bit more inviting. These chairs I already had out here on the patio. So I'm going to make a space here with just a seating arrangement and I'm going to add this deck box in the middle to serve as a side table. We do not really use the patio table and I think that we will use this space more if we have the designated seating areas. But I'm going to use the patio table somewhere else so be sure you stay tuned for that. I'm just going to add the cushions into these chairs and I'm so excited how this older patio set blends so well with my new one.
Well, friends, that wraps up this week's video. I hope that you were inspired and learned some tips and tricks to use in your space. And be sure to check out the link in our description box below for a discount off of anything on Jovi's website. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to our channel, please hit that subscribe button. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, Our Contented Home. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.